Howdy friends and welcome back to Toybox Nostalgia, I'm Douglas. In this video we have four very special guests. That's right my friends, we have Batman, Harley, Harvey, and the Joker in the 2022 Walmart exclusive 4-pack DC Direct McFarlane re-release of these action figures from the Batman animated series. I'm very excited to tear this open because I want to put Harvey in front of the police station diorama that we had created in a previous video. I'm so happy that this exists. Honestly, I'm just, I'm happy that they're coming back because the originals are just way too expensive. If you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see more content like this show up in your news feed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. If you like the content of this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and drop a comment below letting me know what you think of the Walmart exclusive four pack from Batman the Animated Series and DC Direct and Todd McFarlane. Thank you so much for watching my friends, I will catch you after the break. Alright my friends, here it is. Look how amazing this is, right? Let's go ahead and tear this open. Right, look at this packaging, right? Crystal clear, huge window on the front, showing off all action figures, and I believe every single accessory that comes in the package. There may be more in there, I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to see down in there. But this box is about maybe three and a half or four inches in depth, and you could really see where Batman, he's recessed about two inches back there. The one jutting out the most is the one I'm actually super excited about, and that's Harvey. Bullock because you know he's he's a he's a big and you know he's a big boy right I'm very excited for him because I need more cops for the uh, police station diorama that I had created if you haven't checked out that video I highly recommend it it was a lot of fun and I think it looks great all right so besides this window and everything we do see that it's 14 plus we do get a pack of four now this is a Walmart exclusive comes to about 99 bucks which totally makes sense because I believe individually uh, I think he's the only one out of this four that was released separately and separately they're $29.99 at Target So that's actually kind of a great deal to get all four of these for only 99 bucks We see DC Direct and we also see McFarlane toys up here on the top right uh, We have this really gorgeous like uh, the Batman animated series logo It's just another reason why I love the show like I said mentioned in the diorama video that show Every single aspect of that show gave me a reason to love that show here we have their names. We have Batman, Harvey Bullock, the Joker, Harley Quinn. Flipping over to the side, we see the window does in fact wrap around the side. We have this really nice logo again up here for Batman the Animated Series. At the bottom, it just says Batman the Animated Series. On the back, we have toy photographs, which are kind of floating on white. We have the Batman Animated Series logo up here at the top right again, and then DC Direct and McFarlane Toys. This box says McFarlane Toys like all over it. <laughs> it's like, all right, 14 plus, and on the bottom, that's where we have our date. It says, uh, let's see, around here somewhere, 2022, right there. DC and Warner Brothers, all this copyright information over here on the side. We have the barcode in case you need it, and we also have what looks like to be a serial number. And that's it. All right, let's go ahead and tear this open. I need to open this immediately all right so i'm going to cut these stickers up here at the top i know i'm going to destroy the box and that's all right this thing came out just one year ago from the date of recording this video very nice very nice we do have a nice backdrop that you can use probably for a diorama here in the back. I just I decided that my hand decided that I just wanted to throw it. <laughs> Look at this. This is amazing, right? It is really high gloss, so you get a lot of reflection, but that's okay. You just have to play with your lighting a little bit. It does crease down as like this to make it larger to see more buildings. That's very cool. It looks like a very gritty dark deco uh, like backdrop that you would see from the animated series this is awesome on the back is just raw cardboard i'm going to put this aside all right it's in our action figures looks like we have a lot of bands and tape that we have to conquer so i'll do that and i'll be right back that was a hell of a thing that sucked 
here are the action figures, right? God, their packaging was terrible. All right, so let's start. Let's start with Harley Quinn, actually. Okay, great. So here is Harley Quinn from the four pack. Uh, she looks just like right out of the cartoon. Like DC Direct and McFarlane Toys did an outstanding job making the action figure look amazing. Let's start with details. Let's take a look at that face, right? That is a face that anyone can love. This is Harley Quinn, you know? This is <laughs> this is like how I learned about Harley Quinn as a kid was from this animated show. It's just Oh, just amazing. And you can see like the, the white on here is actually painted on. The black is painted on. The red. She has two different colored shoes down here. She's got some red on her leg here. And she's got like white marks. You know, it looks maybe like it's there for some sort of shading effect. She has them again here on her knee. Details, absolutely great. Look at the white little like pieces at the end of her cap here. They just, they look amazing. All right, on to articulation. Her head, is, looks like it's on a ball joint. Doesn't go up too much. Let's, let's hold her straight. Does go down a lot. Um, kind of doesn't go up at all. Kind of just looks straight, you know? So, um, probably have to pop this off. You know, for toy photography purposes, probably gonna have to rig it somehow, you know, with, with a little bit of glue. But as you see here, typical ball joint easy to get on and off. There's a lot of lube on here, like some sort of uh, machine oil, mineral oil, or some sort of oil on, on this. Like I have to keep wiping it off. So if you see me wiping stuff off, that's what it is. I think it's normal from the manufacturing process. Let's go down to the shoulder. Shoulder goes all the way around and we do have a hinge. The hinge goes out about that far. So we probably couldn't, I think that's as far as it'll go. Yeah, that's as far as it'll go. Maybe she needs heated up, like the plastic. Um, but yeah, it's as far out as you can see from the top view. You can't really get her arm like fully extended straight out. Let's go on to the elbows. Uh, the elbows have spinning, very nice, on a peg, most likely, and we have a hinge. Very cool. And then the hands, obviously, they're gonna be on a hinge, or I'm sorry, on a peg, and they're gonna have a hinge so they can rotate and spin and move in various ways. Very cool. It's a lot of articulation for something so small and fragile feeling and dainty. Now I'm kind of scared about this arm. It looks like we have some sort of like plastic, you know, overlap here and it doesn't really want to, doesn't really want to bend. Let me see if I can fix that really quickly. Like the hinge, unfortunately, seems like it's kind of melted. And whenever I go to bend it, I can see the peg coming out inside there. I don't know if you could... Gosh, that's hard to focus on that, eh? Yeah, see, like, the peg wants to come out. So I'm not sure she'll be able to move her arm too much. We did get a bunch of the plastic off on the inner arm. And does it come out? No, it doesn't come out that way. Yeah, so this might need heated up. So I'm going to leave her arm kind of straight and out just like that. Uh, same, with, same goes with the wrist. As the other side, we spin, you know, we have obviously hands accessory hands let's move down to the legs we start at the hip right so wow look at that articulation that goes all the way up she could do a really nice kick very cool right and then it goes out this way it's got that goofy um you know dc or mcfarlane or whatever you want to call it type of you know joint here so she can do more than a split actually very nice joints as you can see there they're pretty clean um, they move really well. Uh, they feel like they kind of, they don't really ratchet and they're not loose, like super loose. I'm sh maybe they'll get loose over time. I'm not sure, but there's no twist at the waist or anything like that, like at all with this action figure. So you can't really get her to do a lot of poses, but that's okay. I think my, my favorite aspect of these action figures truly is the way that they look. They look like they're right out of a cartoon. So I really like that. So, as far as the foot goes, looks like we're kind of not really on a ball joint, but can swivel. And that's it. We don't have any kind of rock or anything. So, if she was standing like this, uh, as you see there, I can't really get her feet to plant um, perfectly flat on the ground. 
So not very much articulation, that's kind of disappointing. But again, I really just wanted these for toy photography, I like to take photos of them. Um, so I can improvise on a lot of the, uh, you know, the shortcomings that we have there. As far as the accessories go, she has this wand right here. It looks like Joker's face with her cap on. Uh, the paint application looks good. For how small it is, honestly, I think it looks great. And it's like a wand, you know, it's got like red on the bottom. And for her to hold it, we'll have to use probably some of her other hands. Because right now she came with fists. Here are her other hands here. This looks like one that would hold. Maybe this is a holding one for the wand. I think so. Maybe. Then we have two relaxed open hands with open fingers right there. And they are, you know, the colors match the sides. So let's see if I could get her to hold that wand with this hand. There we go. Place that in the hand and great. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's all right, you know? It's not like a, an actual grip hand. It's more of like a, it's almost like she's pointing. Maybe to hold a gun or something, like a trigger finger type of hand, you know? But this, this fits in there pretty well. It's all right, you know? Kind of fudge that, right, for toy photography? Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's move on to the Joker. Cause he's just next in line. When I was a kid, I had a Joker action figure. Had knees kind of just like this, but he had lines on his pants. I believe it was the 1989 Joker, or maybe even older than that. Maybe it was a Kenner. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at details first. Look at that paint application. Look at that head. <laughs> looks great. It looks awesome. We have some cell shading here on the side, you know, to put some shadow behind the jacket. Uh, the collar of the jacket that comes down, you know, looks very good. We have cell shading on the inside of the legs. Very cool, looks good, right? So far, so good. No cell shading on the hands. The hands look like they're an incredibly light blue in person. I don't know if that's showing up or not. His skin is ultra like powder white, like the Joker, right? Like he just like took white powder and just poof, just hit himself in the face with it. And he's got that green shading in the hair. Just, you know, the, his hair's green, right? But all of the black, you know, like the, the high, super high contrast, you know, lots of shadowing, like dark deco. You know, the whole dark theme of the show just like really comes out in these figures, I think. I think they did a great job, you know? Um, he's got this necktie here. Very nice. Painted really well. And he's got this thing that he can squeeze and stuff comes out of it. And his inner shirt is like a, an orange yellow, and his eyes are like a very neutral or almost like a cool yellow. Like maybe there's a hint, a very, very light hint of green. His teeth, unfortunately, have uh, red in between them. It kind of looks like somebody sucker punched him in the mouth and he was bleeding between his teeth from his gums. So, eh, that's, that kind of sucks, but I know. I feel like it should be black inside there, you know, to make it look a little more normal. He's got these coattails. They're kind of like a little bit of a soft plastic here, kind of sharp on the bottom. And his shoes <laughs> look like they're right from the show. This is how I remember his shoes. I, I was very excited. On to articulation. Let's move his head around. Looks like he is also on a ball joint. Can't really look up. Uh, can look down pretty well. And, you know, obviously side to side, you got a really nice tilt you know, because of the ball joint. Let's move on to the shoulders. He can, however, put his arms all the way out straight. Very cool. And they swivel, and you can kind of see the yellow from the um, shirt underneath the jacket there. Same color. At the elbow, we do have a swivel, and we have a hinge. Very cool. Same exact thing with the hand. We do have a hinge. I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit tight on mine, and it feels like it ratchets. Yeah, definitely ratchets, but, you know, obviously it comes with um, swappable hands as accessories. So that's very cool. He does not twist at the waist at all. So there's no waist twisting going on with this guy. His leg, however, can do a full kick. Very nice. Right? Very cool. Going back, can go pretty far back. Like, he can... You could probably get him in, like, a... Gosh, he looks like he's like skydiving right now. 
or like leaping, you know, like leaping towards somebody like, I'm going to get you, you know. Uh, so articulation up here in the legs is just, I, I think it's fantastic. It does kind of look really strange with this, you know, these hinges, but look at that. Can do more than a split. You know, you could break his legs if you want to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So at the knee, we don't twist just due to the pant, like the pant shape, which is kind of normal. My Commissioner Gordon's the same way. Uh, the original one that was released, I think, in the, I think, two or three years ago. His feet are, they swivel back and forth, and they do not, they do not have rockers on them. So he won't be able to, if he's standing with his feet spread apart, he won't be able to plant his feet flat on the ground either. That's unfortunate. Again, this, the articulation of these isn't great. That's the only aspect so far that I'm not a really big fan of. So as his accessory comes with this fish. The smiling joker fish. He could slap Batman across the face with a large trout. All right, so here are the hands that the joker comes with. Looks like a trigger finger, another trigger finger, and then like a gripping pointing finger. So not much as far as the hands go so far. Moving on to Harvey. Look at Harvey, look at this big old cop, right? Or detective rather. This guy looks great. Uh, the pants, really, like the articulation of the pants, you know, that's how my Commissioner Gordon is. Kind of looks like that. All right. Let's start with details, right? So we do have shell, cells, shell. We have shell shaving. Welcome to the Ninja Turtles. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, details first, the paint details. Uh, we do have cell shading. Goes across Harvey's brow completely, and then comes down one side of Harvey's face. On the side there, it looks pretty good. I wish they would refrain from doing it on the face. You know, it's kind of like a little bit goofy, but we have really nice cell shading on the hat, making it look really good. Like the hat looks amazing. The jacket looks amazing. We have these creases painted on here. Ah, oh, this looks fantastic. We have the cell shading on the back here. The belt is part of the jacket, but it is like a very soft rubber. Very nice. I believe my original Commissioner Gordon's like that too. And then the pants, we have the cell shading on the insides of the pants, which look amazing. And the feet, just like Commissioner Gordon, just swivel like that much. And it's just because of the suit. Like, yeah, you know, it's these old, old timey gangster looking suits. Let's move on to articulation. So Harvey's head can look down really well, can't look up. Seems to be the theme with these action figures so far. Um, we do get a little bit of tilt. You know, you can tell it's definitely on a ball joint. And then, you know, moving down looks great. They said before, and as far as turning, you can look this far. And turning this way, you can look about that far. Not very far. It's okay, you know. Moving on to the shoulders. As you see here, I put his arms all the way out. He can, in fact, have his arms all the way out. So they swivel at the shoulder, and they, there's a hinge. goes up and down. And then we have a hinge at the elbow, and we do swivel at the elbow too, very nice. The hands obviously uh, swivel and have a hinge, and they are replaceable. You see here he comes with his fist so he can punch Batman in the face because he hates Batman. Hated Batman. There we go. Alright, so that went back in. Okay, that's good news. I don't want to break these, they're brand new and I need them for the diorama photographs, right? Anyways, down to the legs. Uh, obviously, the trench coat is going to inhibit his um, his split, but it looks like he could do a full split if it weren't for the jacket. Uh, see if he can kick. He can kick up about that far, which kind of makes sense. I don't remember him kicking anything, ever. So then we have a bend at the knee. doesn't go very far at all. This is very, very reminiscent of the Commissioner Gordon, if you had that action figure, the original one that was released by DC Direct. And yeah, that's it. All right, let's take a look at some accessories for this amazing detective. Here we have a donut, a full donut. We have a bit donut, like he was biting down on it, you know? He needs his donuts or he'll be pissed off. And then we have a set of handcuffs. The handcuffs obviously do not open. They're just for show, you know? You um, actually, you know what? You may be able to get the handcuffs on some of these action figures by removing the hands. I feel like her, yeah, her. Her hands are so small that like you could just put them, put them onto her wrists. 
So if you got the Expressions pack with Harley Quinn, which I do have, I just need to open here on the channel, uh, you can make her sad that she was arrested. Okay, so see this? I can't get the... Oh, actually I could. If I couldn't, all you have to do is just pop off the hand to put these on. So um, once I open the Expressions pack, we can put a frowny face on her like, I've been arrested, boo-hoo. All right, so that's cool, right? The So far, so good. The articulation is the only part so far that I have any criticism about. Um, so, Batman. All right. Let's take a look at the details first. Just like all the action figures, he's completely matte finish. His emblem looks kind of glossy, the black part of the bat. Everything else is matte finish on this action figure. Looks great. Love this blue. I think this blue really makes this look amazing. We got blue on the inside of the cape. Thank you for doing that. This looks amazing. The belt looks incredible. Nothing is glossy except that emblem, which I wish was a little bit different, but that's okay. Uh, as far as the, the we, you know, talking about details, as far as the, as the scale goes, as you see here, he's, he's about the same height as Harvey, if you consider Harvey's hat part of his height, and then he's taller than the Joker. And he's taller than Harley Quinn. That's okay. All right, so let's start with articulation. Well, actually, a little more in the detail. Let's take a look at that. The paint application looks great in the eyes. Just looks fantastic. The mouth is kind of goofy looking. To be honest with you, this is weird looking. I don't know what it is about it. It's just a black line just paint <laughs> painted on there. Uh, he does have some of that blue cell shading look or a shadow or whatever on the gloves and on the boots also. This looks like it's going to have fantastic articulation. I'm not gonna lie. So let's move into the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint. He's the first one out of all of them that can look up that far. That's great. Can obviously look down. That's even better. So he could look down from the police station. He can tilt his head. Very, very cool. Very nice. And he could turn his head all the way. Probably, yeah, you could just turn it all the way around, actually. So that's awesome. If we take the head off, we can remove the cape. So as you see here, the head is on a ball joint right there. Just got to snap it back inside there. Um, I don't want to do it without the cape on, though, because I kind of like the way the cape looks. But that's how you remove the cape. I got some blue paint on there. Kind of weird. That's okay. You can see there's a little bit of flaw. That's all right. So I'm going to put this back on here. Probably take me about 10 minutes. Yeah, it took about 10 minutes exactly, actually, to the dot. All right, so moving on to the arms. His arms can go out. I'm not sure if it's the cape in him. No, this is like his like broad, sh his, his like big shoulders. I forget what those are called, deltoids or something. I don't know. The, the big muscles at the, you know, the balls of the shoulders. They can make his arms go out that far, but they are straight. That's very cool. And it does go up and down this way. And as you see, there's a hinge there. The hinge can go out, right? Or in, very cool. Does not have a double jointed elbow. So you won't get this guy to, you know, be able to bring anything up to his face to eat. Oh, it just reminds me, like how, how does this dude eat his donut? He doesn't have a, he just has a single single jointed elbow so yeah Harvey Bullock cannot eat his donut it makes me a little bit sad that's okay the hands obviously you we've already seen a million of these so far uh, they are swappable they have a hinge and spin wait a minute all right we don't have any spin at the top of the glove I thought we did for a second it's just at the elbow so elbow bends and spins looks great so far, everything looks fantastic with this action figure, except there's no ab crunch. He, wow, he's the first one that can, that can spin like this out of all of them. It looks kind of weird because of the shape there, but you know, a trick to this when you're doing toy photography is shoot downwards up, uh, not like at his feet or anything, but um, it's easier to hide this, I've noticed. You know, Photoshop, obviously. <laughs> okay, so great, let's move down to the pelvis. So as we see here, we have two amazing ball joints right there. Looks great. Can do a split. Great. Can kick very nicely. Like, look at this kick. 
wish there were swivels at the feet, darn it. That's like a, almost like a friggin' Bruce Lee style kick, right? Looks great. Um, you know, obviously with the ball joint, you get a lot of articulation. Can't go back very far just due to, the, obviously, his ass. Um, but we do have a double joint at the knee. So that means that we can bend the leg all the way up like this. Very cool. That's very nice, actually. It does not swivel, but does swivel at the boot. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that, at least. Very nice. And then the foot is just a hinge. There's no... Wait, there's a rocker on the foot. Look at that. There's a rocker. Oh, man, that is awesome. Very cool. It's, it's, maybe it just needed heated up or something, but yeah, it's, as you see there, like, it definitely has a rocker. This one especially, look, I could put it like this way. So if he is standing with his feet out, he can, in fact, as I was trying to uh, articulate before, because I'm really stupid with words, is that he can uh, absolutely articulate, or I'm sorry, have his feet planted on the ground, which is very cool. I like that. I like that very much. I really like the fin sticking off of here. I think that's a really cool touch. And yeah, so that's it for articulation. Let's take a look at Batman's accessories. So far we have a Batarang, right? Two different shades. One is blue. One side's blue, one side's black. Matte finish completely. This isn't, I don't know if this is an accessory or not. It's just a hand, really. But this is his, you know, grappling gun that he, he holds and shoots to like... Grapple up buildings and zip up and down from buildings, right? Here are the hands that you get. You do get what look like to be two trigger fingers, but can't grip. If you look really closely, those fingers are attached to the palm. And then these two, these two hands right here are absolutely gripping hands for holding probably the Batarang. Maybe, maybe this is for the Batarang. Let's take a look-see, right? I wonder if this can grip the Batarang. So I probably want to put blue on blue, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you could go like this, right? Very cool. I like that. Very cool. All right. There we have it. We now have four action figures at the price of 99 bucks. I really wish the articulation on these three were better, but that's okay. They look fantastic, and I'm in this for the art and the toy photography. The unboxing's kind of fun, too, right? But anyways... Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm pretty darn happy with these. I can't wait to set them up in the diorama downstairs. Look at this action figure. This just looks great, right? Look at this Harvey Bullock. So cool. Can't wait to see what he looks like with Commissioner Gordon in front of the police station that I made. I'm very excited about this. Four pack, Walmart exclusive from McFarlane Toys and DC. I think they did a fantastic job with how they look. My only gripe is the articulation for, especially for the bigger, bulkier uh, action figures like this guy. Uh, but that's okay, you know, they did the best they could, you know, to get it to look one-to-one, -one, like, I don't know, toy manifestation from the cartoon. Like, this guy came from the cartoon. Look at that, it's just so great. <laughs> so cool. So if you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see more Batman the Animated Series unboxing and toy photography content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel also. Drop a comment below letting me know what you think of this crazy Walmart 4-pack re-release of these DC action figures from Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> I'm so excited that they're back. They're back because the originals are just far too expensive, right? Everybody can agree with that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, my friends. Remember, collect and shoot.